Hi Leo, it is CJ here from CJ Soul Messages. Thank you for joining me here today to do your January 2022 general tarot reading. I can't believe we're already in January. Um, I've been a little late in getting these readings done with holiday celebrations, etc. So today it is January 4th. Um, this reading will apply approximately for the next month. And as I said, it will be a general read. So we're just going to get into it. Um, I'm going to start off with pulling a divine animal card and then a major arcana. And we'll get into the tarot with a three card spread, pull a couple of oracles, and um, that will be it. So with that being said, I also would like to remind um, my subscribers for me to be able to give back because I'm so truly grateful for all the, the likes, the comments, the subscribes. Uh, I, I just... I just hope you can understand how very much it means to me that I have so much support and it really touches my heart. So I am going to be giving back to you one subscriber. Um, I will pick on January 31st for a free reading. So all I need you to do is just leave a comment. Tell me what you are wanting to bring into your life for 2022, what you're planning on focusing on to manifest and um, leave a like and subscribe. And then on January 31st, I will pick one listener and I will contact you via YouTube and we will make plans to give you a personal reading. Okay, so with that being said, let's get started. Again, thank you so much for being here. I am really, truly grateful. All right, Spirit, for our beautiful fire sign, Leo, for January 2022, what animal oracle do we have? We have cat. Cat has come out. I like this. This is all about intuition. Um, it is all about trusting your gut, your knowing, your deeper calling that it speaks to us all the time. Um, and it is about you trusting it this month. Really beautiful energy to be working with because it is spirit's way of saying when you have a feeling in your gut, tune out your mind, tune out your logic, tune out, you know, even your emotions at this point and focus on what it is that your intuition is trying to tell you. Uh, it will not lead you wrong. Our intuition, when we truly, truly, truly tune into it, does not lead us down the wrong path. Uh, it can be scary because it may be because it is based on our intuition. We don't necessarily have the facts um, of why we are feeling a certain way or um, why we are feeling the need to go a different direction or on a different path. But we must trust. Always, always trust. This is spirit's way of saying if you connect with your intuition, that spirit then can has has the ability to help you bring into your life what it is that you are wanting. All right, so it's a beautiful energy. Like I really like it for you. Uh, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Well, we have honeybee. So this is all about reciprocity. It is about giving and taking. It's equal. It's working together. It is what you're putting in, someone else or something else is putting in the same amount of effort so that no one feels taken advantage of, no one feels as if they're being taken for granted. It is seriously about working together for even the collective. Uh, if you think of a honeybee, which is what is on this card, honeybees work together, right? There's warriors and there's the queen bee. And you know, there's those that the bees that go out and get the honey. They all work together for the greater purpose of creating honey and um, bringing and keeping a home for the whole hive. So these are energies that are going to be around with you for the month of January and that you can actually really tap into and use that energy for your higher good. Okay, so now let's get into the Major Arcana. Let's see what Spirit has for you there. All right, Leo, January 2022. Like one more. Okay, thank you. The moon, wow, how great does that go with cat intuition and the wheel of fortune. Okay, so the major arcana that has come out is the moon. This is Pisces card. So perhaps some of you Leos uh, are, are dealing with Pisces or um, maybe you have Pisces in your chart, but it doesn't matter and it doesn't have to be. But the moon again is about your intuition. The moon also represents things that are hidden to us. Uh, that are buried in our subconscious that even our conscious isn't always aware of. Uh, and it can sometimes mean that something or someone is keeping something hidden. 
I specifically am getting a very strong feeling from spirit that this is really the month where you are going to be relying on your intuition. I think your intuition is going to be very on point. Um, whether this is about love relationship, family, career, finances, you know, um, it can apply to any and all. We're all on different roads and different paths. So um, the energy though remains the same. You just need to apply it to what your circumstances. But the moon is suggesting here, a beautiful card, beautiful colors here, that there is something that may be coming to light and you may already have an inkling of it in your gut, what that may be. And it is important for you to just really hold on to your deeper knowing here as you start to move through January. You also have on the bottom of the deck the Wheel of Fortune, which I really kind of like this, um, especially in this position, because we have two cards here about your intuition and trusting your gut. And then we have the card of the honeybee, which is about, you know, really giving and taking and it being very equal. But then we have the Wheel of Fortune showing up. And, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is a really positive omen, especially around the cards that are, are surrounding it actually. The Wheel of Fortune is feeling here to me that Spirit is wanting you to know as long as you trust your intuition and you are willing to look at anything that may be hidden to you, that is going to release the breaks that may have been on the Wheel of Fortune for quite a long time for you. Um, I do feel that the Wheel of Fortune will begin to move in momentum with something gradually picking up speed here whether this is you know a new love interest or in an existing relationship that maybe has felt a bit stagnant for a while um, but I think when you are able to really tune into the truth of things the relationship starts to really gain momentum again and get back maybe even on track if it's been off um, if this is about career same energy I just feel that there is a super need here. Spirit is wanting you to really trust your gut and um, and look and look at what could be hidden. Um, even things that you may be hitting, hitting, hiding from yourself here. Uh, and I feel like if you're able to do that, things are going to really start to gain some momentum, which is beautiful, but it's a nice way to open the year with. I'm just gonna take a sip of water. My throat is quite dry here. One moment, please. Oh, sorry, Leo. Just very thirsty lately. Okay, let's get into the tarot. So I'm going to pull three card spread. Um, there'll be a past, present, and future position. Apply it where it may fit. Again, because time is really fluid. So what could be past for you might be present for another. Um, so we'll just work through it that, that way. Okay, Spirit, what do you have for Leo, the fire sign? Well, that one just wants to come out right there, so... Ah, the moon again we got the moon here Leo so there's something really going on here about intuition something being hidden that you are not seeing yet okay let's continue thank you spirit all right January 2022 Leo fire sign one more time all right we're ready I'm gonna set this aside here because I feel that that was an extra card that spirit wanted you to have Yeah, I definitely, they're just giving me this, Leo. There's something here that you are needing to see um, or that you are beginning to see. If you look, this figure is in the bottom of the ocean, perhaps, and is looking up uh, through the water at the moon. And it is almost like she can see the moon's illumination. So, very interesting. A lot of cards here with this whole intuition, trusting our intuition. Okay, let's go. All right, we got Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, King of Swords. And bottom of the deck is Four of Wands. That's really nice energy to have. Okay, so if we keep this all in, we've got to keep all of this energy together. I'm actually starting to feel a bit overwhelmed, Leo, because there, there just seems to be a lot of messages that are coming through from Spirit for you. So please bear with me as I try to keep myself, my energy calm so I can give you the message. We start off with the Ace of Pentacles, which is a really beautiful energy, but it is in the, the past position. So 
Pentacles are all about our tangible things, our money, you know, the things that we can buy. It is also about our self-confidence, how we feel about ourselves. And the Ace of Pentacles, as in all Aces, is the promise of a brand new start. It is the planting of a seed and trusting that that seed with work and nurturing, it will grow to be a beautiful harvest. Ace of Pentacles sometimes can also mean a windfall. Um, so perhaps some of you did win something or you came into some kind of money somewhere perhaps in your past. I'm going to read it as if this is in the past position, but please feel free to apply it where it may fit for you. But the Ace of Pentacles is saying that there was something in your past that really felt like this was going to be a solid thing. It was going to be solid fun money. It was going to be, um, you're going to be really grounded in it. If this is like a, but a career, it's maybe a, a position that you accepted and you thought it was going to be really, really positive and um, that you had a whole lot of hope to it. But saying that, as we move into present position, we have the Seven of Swords showing up. Now, Swords is our intellect. It is everything that goes on within our head. It is the air sign. Um, air sign, sorry. And Ace of Pentacles, if I didn't mention it, is the Earth signs. Seven of Swords. Swords is our logic. It is how we communicate. It is how we speak to others and to ourselves. Now, the Seven of Swords, this is a tricky kind of energy because it is usually, um, the definition usually is about someone stealing something from another. Now, this could be you stealing something from someone or it could be someone stealing something from you. And I find this really interesting because we have the moon out twice and we have the cat intuition. Um, Leo, I think there's been some, I almost want to say sabotage, but there's been some kind of sneaky stuff going on that I do feel that spirit is asking you to really take a good look at, maybe shine a light on it. And, um, if there's been something that has been in question that you have been getting that niggly feeling in your gut, um, but you haven't really been wanting to look directly at it. I think that this is the month that spirit is saying you really need to start really seeing the truth of uh, the truth of whatever this is whether relationship or in career wherever it may fit because the seven of swords is about like i said trickery someone stealing something in this card there are ravens around and there obviously was some baby ravens and there is a figure on here and he has a knife in his hand and he has what looks like probably taken the life of the crow or the raven whatever bird this is and he has it in its naps in his knapsack and he's trying to sneak away without being seen he's trying to get away with something that has been really under undermined underhanded and what he doesn't realize though is that there is a big bright moon here shining directly on him so spirit is saying that there if someone has been tricking you has been stealing from you um and when i say stealing it does it, it can totally mean like someone has taken something tangible from you right because it is by the ace of pentacles maybe someone has taken money from you maybe someone is taking you know, property from you, something. Um, for some of you, that is how it's going to be. For others, it could be someone stealing, um, stealing, like if, uh, how do I put this? Almost backstabbing you. If it was at work, for example, and you are trying to, you know, you're doing things by the book and you're really working your ass off and you're really trying to succeed, there could be someone here that is um, working behind the scenes to try and, you um, take away any kind of potential that might be lying there for you. Perhaps um, if you if you have a boss, maybe you're planning on going for a higher promotion or something like that. It just feels like someone is trying to sabotage you here. Um, and it does feel very much like I, that you know about it. At least your intuition knows about it, but perhaps you haven't been willing to really see it or call it out. I'll, I'll leave it like that. Um, but then we have the King of Swords. Now, I do like this this card in this position here because what the King of Swords is all about is, well, first of all, he's a king, so he doesn't take or tolerate any kind of shit, but he is so confident. Uh, he doesn't allow his emotions to get the better of him. In fact, he very much relies on his logic and he can be quite cold um, because he doesn't tolerate manipulation. He doesn't, he would not to tolerate anyone stealing from him. He will use this sword to sever that connection or to that tie, or he will use a sword to bring truth to the situation of whatever that may be for you, Leo. But it does feel that there is something that has been really hidden 
um, and it needs to be brought to light. It really does need to be brought to light and I think if you haven't been seeing it, it is time for you to really actually start to see it because it, let's say this is about a work situation and you've been really going at it do di diligently, you've been putting in all the work, um, you've been, you know, bending over backwards to make sure things get done, etc. And meanwhile, you've got someone behind the scenes that is sabotaging you um, because they don't want you to have the growth. They don't want you to have your ace of pentacles. Um, maybe perhaps they just don't give a shit whether you succeed or not and they are just all about themselves. If that is the case, there is absolutely the need for you to call it out and to um, really announce it and stand up for yourself here. The honeybee bee coming out here for um, the on the bottom of the deck of the divine animal, I can't speak, animal oracle, it is all about that give and take, right? Working together. That's why I'm feeling like this is more about a career um, situation for the majority of you, Leo rather than a relationship although of course it can apply for that too because it is it is feeling really more like this is about a work thing um, it could even be your own business that you may be running and maybe you have a partner and maybe a partner is trying to undermine you somehow um, and spirit is saying it is really time for you to really trust your gut you really trust your gut um, you know if you really shine the light inward, you know what your gut is telling you. Um, sometimes it's not the most easiest thing to accept. Sometimes it's easier for us to go into denial and think, oh, that person would never do it to us or that boss would never do that to us. But, you know, spirit, these cards are coming out for a reason here. And it is about something being hidden, brought to light here. Um, and I do want to draw your attention to, in between these two black cats here, there is a mask. Someone is wearing a mask. Something is wearing a mask. Because um, these are legit cat cats here, but this is not. This is a person with a cat's mask on, trying to almost um, pretend that they are a cat. So a spirit just brought my attention to that. So Leo, um, I know like I know this is January readings, but you know what? Like, and I was hoping to kind of stay a little bit lighter, but spirit has a message that they want to give you. So this is what it is. Um, if it resonates with you, then you know what I'm talking about here. If it doesn't, then it's just not for you, and that's totally okay. Um, it's not going to apply to every single person out there, that's for damn sure. But there is a serious note here that if you know that something is, um, there's something underhanded going on here, uh, it is time for you to really, really call it out. Really call it out, almost embody the King of Swords here. Um, and be very clear and concise with your words, your communication, and do not hesitate to say what needs to be said. There is an owl down here. An owl is all about wise. It's about wisdom. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there and we're going to get into, to, um, I'll pull some clarifiers here. But I think Spirit, what Spirit is saying is if you can do this, and this is going to take some strength, but that is your card, Leo. Um, if you can do this and you know that you've been treated not right, you haven't had the equal give and take, um, if you can do this, the wheel of fortune will start to spin in your favor. I feel like right now at this point, um, it is stuck. Um, it is stuck because it, it, it needs, there needs to be this truth brought to light whatever that truth is for you. On the bottom of the deck, we do have the Four of Wands, which I really love because that is saying that when you are able to see things clearly and say and communicate exactly what it is you need to, maybe this is even as simple as um, you working for a company and you've been working long and hard and they haven't given you what you deserved as far as raises, bonuses, etc., which has been hard over the last couple of years, obviously with pandemic, everyone's been struggling. Maybe it could even be just the fact that you haven't gotten what you were promised that you were going to get. And maybe now it is time for you to start speaking up and remind whoever that may be of um, your, your gifts, how much you put into your work, um, and remind them of what you are deserving of. Um, because maybe they have forgotten, maybe they've lost their way along these last couple of years, and even for them, maybe they have completely forgotten. 
um, and they're just all about making the money for themselves. So maybe this is a reminder, Leo, for you to bring that subject back up. I do feel like once you do, um, the Four of Wands shows up. Now, Four of Wands is your element, is fire, and Four of Wands is celebration time. This is actually, you know, getting kind of what you want and, and then celebrating it with uh, recognition and feeling happy again and being able to kind of like celebrate you doing a good job standing up for yourself. I did just think, speak about strength and well what shows up underneath that is strength. So spirit is saying yeah it's going to take some strength. That is your card here. It's going to take some strength. It's going to take some guts, some courage, uh, but it is going. it is meant to be um, for your higher purpose, for your higher good here. Um, you, you need to have some kind of balance brought in here where what is being given is being received. This could also be for a cross watcher too. Um, you know, it, maybe you put a lot into something with a Leo and you're not getting it, you're not getting it back. Um, but I'm not going to go into that because this is more for Leo. And underneath that is a chariot. So chariot is cancer, it is a water sign. Um, so Cancer though, this is a victory card. This is a reminder that if you can shine the light on whatever may be hidden, whatever you might have been trying to deny here, it will come in fast, you will have victory, and you will once again be moving forward in the direction that you wish to move in. So I like this reading for you, Leo, but it does feel that there is a little bit of cleanup that still has to happen, even though we're in the new year. Um, I think that there is definitely something that has been hidden or something that you haven't been wanting to see and spirit is asking you to really start shining that light on the truth and being very honest okay so let's see let's see what fountain deck has wow okay leo january 2022 let's get some clarity here ready Knight of Coins, okay. Wow, Page of Coins. It was upside down, but I'm not reading reversals in this reading, so. Oh, Nine of Cups, see, there we go. And Three of Coins, I love this. This is really nice. So under the Ace of Pentacles, for clarity, we get the Knight of Coins. So Knight of Coins, a lot of Pentacles here. Well, maybe not a lot. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four. We've got four, but that's quite a bit. But the Knight of Pentacles is all about really um, being methodical in your plans. Really taking your time to make a solid plan and not forgetting to cross your T's, dot your I's, especially if you're confronting someone about something that may, you know, confronting a boss about not getting a pay raise, confronting maybe a coworker about them trying to undermine you. Um, if it's in a relationship, confronting some, something that's hidden. Um, you, Spirit is saying don't just dive right in because that will be very emotional. Spirit doesn't want you to do that. They want you to stay the king of, king of swords, keeping yourself really um, almost like emotionally detached a bit. Uh, and so that you can use your logic and stay in control and be very decisive of what it is you are wanting. So the Knight of Coins, I like this because Spirit is saying, make your plan. Make your plan on how you're going to, uh, how you're going to bring whatever this is to light so that there can be a resolution. Um, next to the Knight of Coins is the Page of Coins, which is the reminder here is if you can do this, you can have a new start. You can feel more enthusiastic um, about whatever this is revolving. So let's say we're talking about, Leo, you're in a career, right? And let's say you were promised a raise and you know, you've been working your ass off and you haven't really gotten any kind of acknowledgement or bonuses or you know, more money or offer to put you in a higher position. Let's just say that's what's been going on. <coughs> um, and you have stayed quiet and you've just kept it hidden and you've just kind of ignored it and you've just gone with the day-to-day -day thing because you don't maybe want to rock the boat, maybe you don't have the energy, um, you know, whatever that situation may be. Spirit is saying if you can actually start to see clearly and make a plan of how you are going to approach shining the light on whatever this is that is hidden um, and that your intuition has been asking you to, to confront, you will get what it is that you have been deserving of. That's why Honeybee is here. 
You remember, I keep saying equal give and take. What you're giving, you are receiving. And as I said, maybe someone has just forgotten. Maybe they've been so wrapped up in their own life that they have really forgotten and they've taken advantage of you. And that has kept the wheel of fortune stuck. Now, you make this plan and you really actually start going, okay, wait, what is it that I want? What was I promised? What do I deserve? Uh, okay, how am I gonna do that? So make your plan, figure out how you're gonna do that. Um, it's gonna take some strength and courage, as I said. I do feel you are going to get exactly what you wanted, exactly maybe even what was promised to you at a later past time. Um, because Page of Coins is getting very excited. This page is excited about that pentacle that he or she is holding in their hand. And they're like in that awe moment of like, okay, I like this, how do I get more of it? Um, <clears throat> really cool, because then if we move to the future, you have the Nine of Cups. And you know, I love the Nine of Cups. This is the wish fulfillment card. This is feeling really emotionally blessed, balanced, and really happy and joyful with everything you have. All of your nine cups are full. If you can see this gentleman that's on this card, he is grinning, he's got a good smile from ear to ear because he's so happy, he's gotten what he wanted. And so this is the possible outcome that is going to happen for you, Leo, if you can really Clear up whatever this is that feels hidden, ignored, um, secretive, and for some of you, deceit, deceitful. If you can clear that all up, you are going to have this new start. You can start to walk in where you're going to feel a lot more joyful, a lot more happy. You're going to feel like you can start to celebrate. And on the bottom of the deck here, oh my gosh. You're not going to believe this. We have the moon again. That's one, two, three moons. So spirit is no joke here. When spirit has a message, they come in super clear. And thank you, spirit, for that. Um, three of coins. I'm, I'm, I know I'm getting a little, I'm probably confusing you, not trying to, but three of coins here is on the bottom of the fountain deck. Three of coins is usually about collaboration with others but it really doesn't have to involve anyone else. It is a positive card and it is about, you know, coming together. This could be you, yourself, and I, like, you know, you, yourself, and I, as in yourself, coming together because you finally have stood up and you've, you're you working hard to get, to get equal give and take, to get equal of, um, to get the balance back in and actually receive what it is that you deserve for all the hard work you've been doing. So, and for sure, some of you guys, maybe it's like you talk to a boss or you talk to a partner or whatever it is, and um, you shine light on all of this, whatever this stuff is hidden, because there's something definitely hidden here. Um, and there becomes an agreement to all work together, to work together, and the wheel of fortune starts to move, and you feel very content and happy. Um, man, I just kind of thrown off here because we have the moon showing up for the third time. So, Leo, you know you you know best if this is applying to your life or not. But if there's something that is hidden, um, but your intuition knows about it, you know our subconscious. We might not be consciously aware of what our subconscious knows, but our intuition usually will give us a tick. You know, um, even if we're trying to lie to ourselves or we're trying to fool ourselves, you still get that feeling in your gut that you really can kind of can't shut off. Sure, your mind can shut it off but your gut doesn't shut off. So there is definitely something here Spirit is wanting you to really shine the light on and get very clear on it and allow it to be illuminated this month for you. Um, underneath the moon, we do have the four of coins, which is suggesting the reason you haven't done this is that you are almost afraid perhaps that you are going to lose whatever it is that you already have. So you hold on tightly to the four coins because you're nervous that if you maybe shine the light, if you call out a coworker, if you confront your boss, for example, um, maybe you're afraid that they're going to say, well, if you don't like it too bad, get out. Um, maybe the coworker is going to say, oh, maybe they're a really great manipulator and you aren't, con you're not confident that the truth is actually going to be seen. Um, that can make a person really hold on to what you have. But it also, at that same time, stops the wheel of, of fortune from moving forward because you're holding on too tightly. And when we hold on too tightly, we don't make room for anything new to come in or for anything to expand. 
Um, and underneath that again, we have the Ace of pe uh, Pentacles. So you now have Ace of Pentacles twice, and you have the Moon three times. So Leo, I don't know what this is for you, but it does say here from Spirit that if you are brave and courageous, and you really determine what it is that you want, and what it is that you feel you are deserving of, um, and you then are able to confront this moon energy, you are going to be a lot happier and you're gonna feel a lot more freer. Um, and I do think this is then gonna be the beginning of a new start for you where there is going, going to be equal give and take and that your pentacles will probably really start to continue or keep growing and continue to grow. The wheel of fortune is gonna gain speed and with that is gonna bring you a lot of happiness. Wow, pretty interesting read here for you, Leo. Um, and if this is about a person, but you know, I, and it can be, I, I, I just am saying, I don't really feel that this is about like a love relationship because um, the only thing we have here is the moon three times and that is a water sign it is Pisces card but we don't have cups here We're, we really don't have the cups here other than the nine of cups um, but the nine of cups for me in this reading is representing you feeling really more fulfilled emotionally because you've spoken the truth because you've stood up for yourself and I do feel it's regarding finances finances um, you know career status etc but like the fact that I feel like someone has been trying to keep you a little bit stifled and you haven't perhaps up until this point been willing to stand up to them. Be that king of swords, Leo. You know, you are Leo the lion for a reason. So if this is resonating with you, don't hold back here. You know, don't hold back and say what it is that needs to be said and make sure the truth is spoken um, to whoever needs to really hear it so that some kind of balance can be brought back in and so that the wheel of fortune can really start to move in a really positive way for you moving forward as we you know begin this brand new year so i'm now just going to pull a card out from moonology i just want to see what it has to say for you leo <clears throat> all right spirit oh whoa okay too many thank you but too many cards leo january 2022 Regarding this reading spirit, thank you. Please show me clearly. Emotions are running high. Superman. This is pretty, this, this feels pretty appropriate actually because, you know, the Superman, you know, whenever we have a full moon, it's pretty huge energy, right? It's like, there's all, the whole moon's lit up and it's all about just, Whelms of emotion coming through. Well, the super moon is even that much huger. And this feels appropriate because I imagine if you're in this situation and you know that there's something that has been really hidden from you um, or that has been tried to be hidden from you, and you know in your gut that you need to um, basically like rip the masks off here and call a spade a spade. I can understand that emotions are going to be run, running high and maybe it isn't even about you maybe it's about the other person that the emotions are going to be running high and maybe they're going to try and be really sneaky about it right um so keep that in mind and on the bottom of the deck it says your dreams need a practical plan now this is full moon and taurus yes that goes very well with the knight of coins you know like i said make your plan think it out use your logic um, really think how you can do this in the most constructive way possible so that you make it to the finish line and you will because a knight of coin always makes it to the finish line slow and steady wins a race here okay now I'm gonna close your reading off Leo with one card from treasures of Takashi and uh, yeah Wow this is the first reading I've done in 2022. So these energies are pretty, they're, they're pretty, I don't wanna say the word heavy, but spirit is not messing around. If you want the wheel of fortune to change in your favor, Leo, then you really gotta start 
holding someone accountable and maybe that is holding yourself a bit accountable too because we can't make change well okay we're not going to take all of those we can't make any kind of changes if it doesn't begin with ourselves all right magic oh i like that to close this off and delight two very positive cards magic has come out unexplained fascinating turn of events expect the unexpected you have wondered and you have let go magic is in the air don't fall under the spell of your ego often what appears to be real is only an illusion allow the spellbinding passion of your spirit to guide your life with enchantment so i really like that because if you've been holding back um from shining the light from seeing all of this that is hidden something's hidden here um, yeah, that's just going to keep you stuck. It is now time for you to actually really allow yourself to stand up for what is right um, and uh, then allow the magic to happen. And bottom of the deck, it says delight. Enchantment occurs when you least expect it. Almost similar kind of cards here. Open yourself to the charm of the world and tingle with delight. Have no expectations and life is captivatingly beautiful. <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> look in the mirror and give yourself the gift of delight as you see who you truly are I like that that's good I mean again as you see who you truly are the moon showing up three times Leo is saying that there is something hidden and if this is something hidden within you that has kept you from going after your dreams whatever that may be then it is really now time for you to um, bring awareness and bring enlightenment to that so that you can actually really start to move on in a positive magical way for yourself so Leo that is what I have for you um, again if you want um, to be entered in for a free reading please leave me a comment let me know if this resonated with you as well um, I would love to hear because three moons I, I don't know if that's ever shown up in a reading for me before and especially with cat intuition coming out so there's definitely something here for you. Again, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate your support. I wish you a beautiful month of January, and um, I hope this year is going to be a very positive one. So until next time, take care of yourself, and we'll see you later.